In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a software manager called AppGrid. And this is for the Ubuntu and Debian based Linux operating systems. If you found this video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video that will give a description how to install it and how to use it. Now let me show you a little brief description and then I'll show you two methods you can use to install it. AppGrid is an alternative for the software center that you normally see in Ubuntu or the Ubuntu derivatives. So if you've ever used Ubuntu or the Ubuntu derivatives, you've probably seen the GNOME software center eventually called the software center that allows you to install software by the click of a button. It's a graphical user interface for installing software and that's what AppGrid is. AppGrid is where you can choose different software, click onto it and click the installation button. Now you can go to the uh, Launchpad website, uh, Launchpad websites for additional information. And at, currently, at the time of making this video, which is February the 23rd, 2021, it's at version 0 0.31. You can click here if you see this video months from now or even years from now to see what the current version is. And it scroll down, you can see the oldest version up to the most current version, and it was actually last updated the 10th month, the set, the seventh day. Of 2020 so it's not been too long ago where it's been uh, updated as you can see here you can put this PPA in in the terminal go update and then I have the rest of it on my website if you want to install it using the terminal by going sudo apt install app grid but the purpose of a software manager is so that you can install software without using the terminal because I had someone not long ago said that that's one reason why they don't use uh, Linux is because installing software is very difficult because it looks like using the DOS command uh, commands and DOS within the older version of Windows so I thought well it's time for me to show how to install software without using the terminal so if you're if you do understand and not scared of using the terminal you can install AppGrid by using method number one and you can also remove it by using the terminal by removing AppGrid and then removing the PPA which is, you see the PPA on the Launchpad's website. The other method for installing it is a graphical user interface method is downloading the installation files. Referring to it like Windows, think of the .deb file like a .exe, an executable file in Windows. You know, it's very, very similar to a Windows environment. So for those of you that are on a Windows system, don't be afraid to uh, switch to Linux just because the software looks complicated to install. There's multiple ways of installing a lot of different software. You can download this directly. If you look in the lower left-hand corner, you can see the link from Launchpad. And here's another Launchpad link. It's not the same Launchpad as here. This gives you a brief description how to set up the PPA. This is the launch pad where they're stored at from the oldest version to the newest version. And if you also want to go to the developer's website, you can click App Grid and get more information. You can click this button and it's for Ubuntu 18.04 Plus. And the plus means versions after that. So I'm using Ubuntu Mate 20.04 and it will work for Ubuntu Mate 20.10 version of Ubuntu and Ubuntu Mate. If you look up here they are encouraging you to share on Facebook, Google Plus, which that's now outdated, and Twitter. So they're encouraging you to use your social media to get spread the word. So when I got that message about someone saying Linux is too complicated, I thought no, it's not really complicated. I just prefer to install things using the terminal. Now let's get back to installing it using this method. Since I'm at Launchpad, let me go and download the most current version, which is here and it's going to ask you where to save. I'm going to go save as and I'm going to put it in my downloads folder. So I hit the save button and it's complete. Doesn't take long to download because it's a very very small file size. So I'll go ahead and close this link. I'll leave that one open because I'll refer back to it later. I'm going to go to my downloads folder. I'm going to double click the app grid I, uh, deb file which is the installation file. It will give you a warning uh, telling you that you can get the same version of the software channel. That's by using the the command line but we're not going to use the command line so I'm going to close this now if you've never installed before you'll see that there are a dependency it will also install this file before it installs the program so when you hit the install install package button you have to enter your password it will go out and get the dependencies needed and then it will install the software so let me click the install package button put my password in 
and immediately when I hit the authenticate button it will go across the internet and it'll look for the dependencies installing dependencies that's the first thing it does so it goes and gets that dependency and if you may have a system that requires more dependencies and it will go install the dependencies and then as you can see here it's installing the app grid software and so on so in a few moments it'll finish up the installation this will disappear and these buttons will change so do not close this dialog box the package installer until you see the same version is already installed and the reinstall and remove package buttons on the package installer now I'm using the GDB package installer if you need GDB on your system I do provide the way to installing that here on my website but I won't go into that here on this particular video now let's open up app grid I go to my system administration and click on app grid now since I have already installed it and uninstalled it it did leave a little file behind uh, I guess this little uh, image here the first time you run it if you've never installed it before you'll have to agree to this little thing here don't let that scare you and I've screen captured it uh, and put it on my website you agree to it then it allows you to install software from the app grid software and instead of looking at the images on my website let's actually take a look at the actual program itself here you can see there's lots and lots of software available for Linux a lot of this is open source software now the little disclaimer that you have to click I agree on is this software here is proprietary software it's copyrighted software that way that you can't try to redo the code and rebrand it as yours and, and claim it as your work because it it took these developers a lot of time and so that way it's copyrighted but just or proprietary software but that's just the software installer the thing that collects the software all this open source and software for Linux these are coming from third-party uh, locations they're not from the creators of app grid it's just the actual package itself that where you use this is but when you look after you click on it and wait a while these images eventually will fill in sometimes you might find software that will not fill the images in but you can navigate by using these arrows going left and right you can if you know the name of a particular piece of software you can put in the name here and find that software when you look within each of the grids each of these right here represents a separate software and as you can see here like the game Sudoku uh, it gives you an, a thumbnail image, the name of the program, it gives you a brief description, and it gives you a star rating, and it's not zero or one star to five stars, it's from one star to three stars. So if you see three stars, that means the people that download this and left reviews left a good review. As you can see here, this one's okay. This is TV Time Television Viewer. It's got a two stars. Apparently some people had trouble, and so they took off a star rating from the number of people that rated it. Now in the last upgrade, let me click on Sudoku for a moment. In the last upgrade, the reviews where people posted on here, these were no longer viewable. I don't know if it was rewritten in a different uh, language, uh, code language, or what the problem was, but the reviews that used to be here from the older version is, are no longer here. I did like the reviews just for the fact that, now a lot of people that left negative comments, some of people were rude, but I would read through them. A lot of times people would say it doesn't work with, and they would tell what type of distro they were using because sometimes an application may not work as good for one distribution of Linux than it does for another so I could read through here and tell what versions of the software or what the software works with which distribution of Linux the best so that's a lot of times what I like to read from the reviews sometimes you'll get a link right here from the website from the software developers that you can click on to that would take you to the software developers not all of them have the link here you will get some software that will and some software that it won't here is a several images sometimes you'll get a little error where you can scroll through them but you can click on these to see a much larger click again to go away click here and make it larger to show you a little bit about what the program will look like here's the big title of it and a brief description this is a game of course let me show you how to install software here you got an installation that is actually clickable so when I click the install link it will then say installing and it will prompt me to put my password when I put my password you'll see the shield appear up here in my status bar so let me put my password and let me press the authenticate button 
and as long as you see that shield up there I can remove or install software without re-entering my password now after it installs if I navigate and spend a lot of time that shield will disappear meaning if I try to install or delete software I will have to re-enter the password but as long as you see that shield there I won't need to re-input the password in to either remove software or to reinstall software so as you see here that install now changes to a clickable remove and it doesn't change to a finger with your icon but I can click that to remove the software and I can find the software in my menu now as you can see games and there's the Sudoku if I click onto it it loads and I can also click the launch button from the actual program and it says launching but it's because it's launched here and I can click onto it and play the game of Sudoku so now as you can see after I close it it'll eventually change from launch uh, launching to now launch and remove. Removing software is just as simple as installing it. Now since I've got my shield up here, when I click the remove, it's not going to ask me for my password. It will give you a brief description. It's because I got a dark uh, theme. It makes this light around it and it makes the text light. So if you've got a non-dark theme, you should be able to read that. But for the first time it talks about removing software. You just hit continue and the next time you remove something you won't see that dialog box appear notice I didn't have to put my password as long as that shield is up there so now it's gone so if I look up here in the games the Sudoku is now gone from my games menu now let me go back and show you how to navigate the menus as you can look this is just a hodgepodge of a bunch of different type of software it's a variety of different type of software that you can install in your system here it organizes them into categories you click this menu and you get the arts categories the games categories productivity programming science and system so if you're a game lover you can click, click the games and we're now in games mode everything that you look at through here is a game that you can install on your system so there's lots of games that you can install on your Linux system. Now notice this works as a toggle switch. Instead of saying categories, it's now games. When I click on games, it will change back to categories. And st still notice my shield is up there. So if I'm trying to install something, I won't have to enter the password. Now this right here would be placed under the system because it's a ruler that works with your operating system. So if I wanted to look for more system tools or system software, I would click the system and things that you install from here will work with your operating system like KeePass that remembers the passwords that you go to as you're surfing the internet and if you keep scrolling through you'll see a lot of like LibreOffice I don't know really why that's placed in the system that could be placed under another category but I guess it's a tag that you could put also with your system you got uh, calculators that could also be placed under science in education you got your PDF mod I'm not going to go through here that's the screen ruler so things that you see here are with your system files or it will modify your system somewhat or add files to your system files now I do want to say here please be careful about randomly choosing things in the system categories because if you add a different type of desktop like I'm using the Ubuntu Ubuntu Mate desktop and if I come through here and choose something if I found cinnamon and I stuck the cinnamon desktop on there when I log in it's probably going to give me a choice do you want to log into the cinnamon desktop or do you want to log into the Ubuntu Ubuntu Mate desktop so please be careful about installing things from the system category unless you know or for sure about what you're installing but notice this is a toggle so I can go to any category this is dealing with the arts I can go to and click away from it now the state here when I click the state this will show all the software that's installed on your system so when I click install everything you see here it's installed on my system this is not something I click on to install when I go here like the program app grid as you can see here in just a moment it should load an image and it may take a while I'm not gonna hit launch app grid because I'm already launched it's already running but I can click remove app grid and it will remove it from my system and when I close it down I can't reopen it because it will be removed but as long as it's in memory I can still see it on my desktop after I've removed it but once I close it out of memory it's then gone so you can use app grid just like your add and remove uh, programs in a Windows environment so you like where I click here the the K Mahong or Mahjong I can click remove and remove that game from my system so these are the installed so think of the installed where you can look at the installed packages so it's like the add remove programs within a Windows environment and again this works like a toggle switch click it 
unclick or click again and it goes back to the normal state the last one as you can see the shield now disappeared so the next time I try to install something it will prompt me for my password now sort allows you to see the most top rated software within the app grid software center so when I click on here everything that you see is top rated it's three stars you're not seeing the one stars or even two stars maybe if I keep scrolling back go to way way down to the end you might start seeing some two stars but everything here you see is one or a three star rating which is the best so if you go to a particular category you want to say the games and then you see the top rated notice both of these have the bold around them you're seeing some of the top rated games that people that has installed in the past uh, up till currently these are some of the best games that people has rated the best so that way you can go to a particular category look at the most top rated and install them so let me kinda go through here and pick one that I don't think is very large to install on the system or actually you can search like for example since I've removed Sudoku from my system I can come up here and let me take it off top rated in games and I can search I can go Sudoku is S-U-D-O and there it is notice it's not installed this sudo because I didn't finish spelling it out I got the KU here but if I finish out the KU it should narrow it down to all the Sudoku games on my system as you can see here none of the game Sudoku is installed on the system so when I click here it's now have install it's not launch and remove so when I click the install link it says installing since the shield is no longer here I have to enter the password when I put my password in I click the authenticate button it's going to put the shield back up here in the status bar as you can see it's installing and it's not currently in the games right now well it is it did before I got there it, that's how quick it installed so now I've got remove and launch so I do know that removing takes it off of my system now one thing I did show you a while ago when I went to system administration I have a different icon and that's because of the theme that I have here you're probably gonna see an icon looking more like if you've got the default theme for your operating system you're probably going to see the default icon for the actual program itself look like that in your menu this right here looks like the app icon for the theme that I have installed on my system so this is just a graphical user interface for those that want to switch to Linux but don't like installing software by the terminal so if you're thinking about switching to Linux or if you're using Linux and you think the terminal is a little complicated way of installing software please give AppGrid a try I think you'll enjoy it just for the fact that it's very easy to point and click to bring up a particular software to read about click install put your password in and if you don't like it you can go back to it and uninstall so hopefully this video has given you a little bit of understanding how to use how to install and how to use AppGrid I hope this has been beneficial to you and have a great day.